everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup faves and makeup fails. So a little disclaimer, just because um, some of these didn't work on me doesn't mean they won't work on you. I'm not in any way trying to say not to buy the products. Especially if you have them and you do find out they work for you, that's great. It's just I don't think that they worked out for me. So to start, because I have a lot of faves and I only have about 10 fails, I'm going to start off with the faves. So for example, I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon um, palette in Poster Child. These shades are extremely pigmented. And um, like for example, this blue shade right here is incredible. Like that right there is such intense pigment and this teal as well, just right there. But these are really incredibly pigmented. If you know the brand Wet n Wild, they have like such an amazing formula. Next I have the Butter Bronzer by um, Physicians Formula. This bronzer, I cannot even explain to you. It's really, it has a natural color to it. It's not extremely bronze, like it's just for bronzing your skin. You wouldn't really contour with this, even though I do a light contour with it over the contour I do um, beforehand. And the thing with this, it's infused with, I believe, Muru Muru Butter. And it smells like coconuts, like coconuts, like tropical. Now, um, Physicians Formula is a little bit more expensive. I got this for, I think, 20 or $25, but you get like a good size pan. So another Wet n Wild product I have is the um, Mega Protein Mascara. For the price point, it's about $3. I'm pretty sure I got it really cheap does a phenomenal job. The wand is pretty thick too, so so it works It's works really well. I really do enjoy it. It makes your lashes like really long. The formula is great. Next I have is another drugstore brand. It's Maybelline and it's the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Um, these do not dry down fully matte. They are, I would say semi-matte, but they have pretty good pigment. Um, this shade is the shade nude thrill and it's a very nice nude color um but the good thing about this is that you can layer it on other lipsticks for example i have the um entire kitty cat matte covergirl collection and i like to layer nude thrill over the shade sphinx and i think it it's a phenomenal shade these are also really cheap i also have the shade um Rebel Red, and as, again, it works really well. But this one you do have to do a few layers over. But it's it's a really nice red. It, it has a blue undertone as well. So it's like kind of that iconic um, old Hollywood red, I would say. Next I have the Smashbox Loose Shimmers. I don't really know if they sell these anymore, to be honest. These are absolutely phenomenal as well. They have a lot of pigment. I'm kind of scared to open this. Ooh. So it has like a sifter in the middle, just so not all the product comes out. As you can kind of see, that already happened to me, so. It's delicious. Like that's, that's blinding. I actually use this as a highlight. It is a little purpley. Um, the shade is actually called Burlesque, but these are beautiful. My next item, I have the Maybelline Master Contour, and this is the shade Medium. And I do, I use this often. Um, if you can kind of tell, I only really use the um, contouring side. I don't really like the highlighting side. I go for more of a liquid highlight, uh, sorry, um, liquid concealer. And I don't know, it's really good stick. I like how it's shaped, it's like rounded at the top. So you can definitely go in on the sides here and just kind of cut it out. Next, I'm going to go into some NYX products. Um, I haven't used these much, but the pigment is really good. Um, so it's, I have the MAC, sorry, the matte lipstick, and this is the shade Perfect Red. And I also have the soft matte lip cream in this shade Monte Carlo. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of red. Um, red lipsticks are my go-to. Like, I have so many more here. I have the, um... Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have, as I showed you guys before, the Vivid Matte. And I'm just obsessed with red lipsticks in general. But the pigment is is there. 
This is, um, so this is a red with, I would say, a blue undertone. And it's, it's a really nice color. I do love it. I'm a fan of deep reds as well. And then I will show you the matte lipstick. If I can open it. Hello. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. These are also pretty cheap, I would say. So there is the perfect red on the bottom and the Monte Carlo on top. So this is more of a matte lipstick, but it is it's is on the soft side, so I don't believe these will dry down completely matte as well. But they are really nice. But yeah, also with these, they are pretty cheap as well. So I don't want to say I don't believe it's a drugstore brand. You can find it in Walmart though. So if you are looking, sorry, not in Walmart, in Shoppers Drug Mart, if you're from Canada. So if you are looking for something on the cheaper side with good quality, um, I would definitely check out NYX as well. So now let's move on to the Maybelline New Instant Age Rewind. But um, this is a really, really good con concealer. And I actually rate this above the um, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Concealer, it has a lot of pigment, I would say. Um, the cool thing is it comes with this little, I guess, brush head that keeps the pigment in it. So I don't want to really say you're losing pigment because it just stays at the top there. So if you don't twist it, the new product come out, then it'll just stay at the top here and you can probably reuse it and stuff and it won't be that bad. Um, what I do like about this too is the fact that it is a twistable. Um, I like that you don't have to keep dipping in your wand. To be honest, this is really good as well. This is, um, yeah, Maybelline, so it is a drugstore brand. It is really good. I do really like it. So yeah, as you can see, there's definitely a mix between drugstore and, um, I guess, I haven't really got to my high-end products, and mostly drugstore right now. So I guess I'll just go to the um, Infallible Pro Matte. I really like this formula just because I do have oily skin. The only problem I have is that I think I have combination skin, or this either dries me out too much, but I do end up with dry patches on my forehead, mainly in my T-zone, especially around my nose. So, um... Overall, it is a really good product. I do like the fact that it is a matte formula. Um, to be honest, I do have the Fit Me um, Maybelline as well. And I honestly feel that this has better oil control than the L'Oreal Matte, which is kind of shocking. I do also have the the um, Infallible Pro Setting Spray. And these two do work great together. So I definitely recommend um, if you are getting the infallible foundation you would go for the um, infallible um, setting spray as well so yes like I mentioned I really like the fit me um, Maybelline overall this is a good foundation I would probably reconsider buying it and because I've had this for a while I'm sure that the formula has changed however um, it is really good product as I said it's drugstore so it's relatively cheap as well all right Elf. Um, so, ELF has a lot of really good products, another drugstore brand, and um, one of those products that I really like is their um, eyeliner. I have eye their eyeliner in jet black, and this is just a liquid liner. It has really good pigment, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that is insane. I don't know, I love it. Um, I wanna try their clay pot eyeliners, however, I haven't been able to find any of their uh, store, sorry, and I don't know, I, ELF is one of those like OG makeup brands that have been around forever, but lately the game has been stepping up in terms of like pigment and products, and they're just coming out with a bunch of new stuff, which is really awesome too. Um, even that, like I got that eyeliner for $2, I think, so it's insane. They're, it's cheap and it's really good quality, and I'm loving that a lot of drugstore brands are like kind of, I guess, changing up their formulas and um, selling really good like products so you get like bang for your buck and it's awesome. I also have uh, another eyeliner that I like as well. It's a Sonia Kashuk in black and it's another liquid liner. Again I bought two of these because um, in Canada our, we had Target for a small amount of time and then they closed down so they're having a big sale on the Sonia Kashuk products and I bought like two of those. I also have the Duo Strip Lash Adhesive in white, so clear. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the one that dries down and becomes um, transparent, which is really good. But I do love this lash glue. I use this like exclusively 
This is the only lash glue I use for my lashes. I did use Joe Fresh lash glue and I feel like it was before the days I could actually put on lashes correctly, so I feel like the product didn't really work for me um, in general. So I did buy Duo. They were selling it at my Walmart, so I decided to give it a shot, and I love it. I highly recommend. It's not that expensive either. Um, I think I got it for maybe $10, to be honest. It's really good product. do recommend. Next, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. I love this lipstick. Um, it is American Doll, and it is stunning. I'm, I am a red lipstick. Oh, honey. Oh my God, that was a shit swatch, sorry. But like, stunning, I love it. Um, these do dry down completely matte as well. Uh, this is the only lipstick I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I've been really into their products. So I have been buying more, but this color is extremely beautiful. Um, I'm totally into old Hollywood glam, and I'm actually obsessed with vintage. I don't know. I just love vintage a lot. I just love looking back in history. I guess that's also because I'm a history student, so I'm just obsessed with history in general. But yeah, this is like the classic, classic, you know, um, old Hollywood red. Next, I have the um, Marc Jacobs Eyeliner. And I also have the uh, Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon. And this is, I'm just pretty sure it's black, if I'm not certain, in black horror. But yeah, this is, this is a mini because I got it for my birthday. It was one of the birthday gifts at Sephora. And this is phenomenal. A lot of major YouTube makeup brewers obsess over the Marc Jacobs highliner eyeliner. It is very awesome. Um, I've even used it for wings, if you can believe it, like doing winged eyeliner. Um, this is really good in the waterline though, and I do recommend using it in the waterline. I'm not sure how much the actual larger version is. It is a high-end um, brand, and it is sold at Sephora. And I also have the lipstick. It's so, look how freaking small and cute this is. It's so cute! What do you mean? Ah! Anyways, it's the lipstick in Bang Bang. Um, it looks more, um, I would say cool toned. It looks more nude in the actual package than it is actually when you wear it. It's a pretty vibrant pink. Let me just swatch it for you, actually. But yeah, it's more pinky than you would um, assume it to be. I do really like it though. It's, um, I would say it's matte. It's pretty long wearing. Um, I don't think it would be kiss proof to be honest, but it is really nice product and it's very creamy as well. I do recommend it. Sorry, I'm just gonna grab an elastic because I can't take this hair anymore. Oh, honey. Oh, God. Next product I have is the Sonia Kasha. Monochrome Eye Quad. This is in textured mauve. It's a nice purple eyeshadow, eyeshadow um, palette. And I'm just gonna swatch these for you. These colors are really beautiful. Um, very pigmented too. What I uh, don't like about these though is that there is a bit of fallout. So I would just be cautious. But pigments there. Two glitters in here. There's one that is more of a, um, I would say loose glitter, and one that's more of a chunky glitter. One is more of a chunky glitter shade right here. Um, you have to really pack it onto the lid if you want it to stay there. The problem is that it doesn't pick up a lot, so that's the only issue you have with it. This one is more of a metallic, as you can see if it's reflecting. Um, it's a more of a metallic mauve, which is really nice. Here's another one of the mauve shades. This one's more matte and it's a deeper shade. And here is another matte shade. Uh, this one is a little less pigmented than the others, but it is a really nice shade. Um, so I would definitely recommend this as well. I also have a lime crime lipstick. I actually got this yesterday. And um, it is in the shade Riot. So this is their Velveteens. It is a beautiful shade. It's a reddish brownish uh, shade because I checked website and the only thing I don't like about this is definitely the smell 
but it is very beautiful as you can see it's, it is reddish brown this is gonna be such a long video ah, ah. oh my god <laughs> what kind of face i'm so cheeky next i have this it's called beauty rush wet dry eyeshadow <laughs> made in Italy <laughs> oh god <laughs> that has never happened to me before what the fuck oh but it is beautiful like look at that that's stunning I love how reflective these are as well um but yeah it is the shade of violet fen and it is a very beautiful shadow it feels like um a baked a baked um blush or a baked, baked highlighter that's kind of the texture you're getting from that. So I got this before prom because I wanted it cool. I wanted a new foundation. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. And I am in the shade Cool Beige. To be honest, I did not expect me to be this shade. But honestly, I can kind of see it. Um, the only thing I have about this that's a problem is that they're really hard to blend out. So I would definitely go in with a wet beauty blender. I do like how it looks on my skin. The only problem I have is that um, it kind of separates and if you have some dry patches, it'll definitely show your dry patches off in a flattering way. Um, in terms of oil control, it said that this is made for all skin types. Um, it did leave me a bit oily throughout the day. Nothing, it's not a problem though if you have any setting powder with you. But that's just another thing to look out for with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is a really good product. It's just you have to take care of your face throughout the day in order for it to have long lasting effects. So I definitely recommend this as well. Um, I also have uh, more NYX products. So these are the Prismatic Eyeshadows and I have Fireball and I also have Liquid Gold and these are incredible. What's it called? This is Fireball. Oh, do you see that though? This is stunning. I'll do an eye look with this in my next video. Oh, my next video is going to be an Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette Tutorial. So stay tuned for that. And here is the liquid gold. I'll probably end up using both of these in the video. But these are stunning. Like, these are incredible. They're also very creamy. So um, I would definitely recommend checking these out. Next, I have the Tarte Tardius Pro Glow to Go. I love the packaging. The packaging is stunning. It's like a matte black with gold on it. It is beautiful. I honestly love it. I take care of these so well too. Like I leave this little plastic thingy in here. It comes, it's like a little storybook. It's really cute. So there's a mirror on the inside. Um, It comes with a contour shade and chisel and it comes with two highlighting shades. Um, these are really intense highlights. If you don't like intense highlights, which, girl, um, <laughs> these may be a little too dark for you. Here's a contour shade. Or sorry, it's too intense for you, not too dark. Um, here's a contour shade. It's really nice and subtle, to be honest. I really like it. Here is the highlight shade Burst. Oh. Honey, do you see that reflection? I'm screaming right now. Like, these are incredible. And here is Gleam, top shade in this palette. Gleam's very light too. It's almost like a mauve or a pink. But I do, like, look how incredible these look. Look how reflective they are. They are stunning, like. Oh. Honey. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? Like, look at the Cupid's bow. I'm. Just, these are stunning. Honestly, I definitely would recommend. I'm pretty sure this was thirty dollars though, so it is a little pricey. Now I'm gonna go to lashes. They do look a little bit wonky, just because I took them off after prom and I kind of just shoved them back in here because whatever. But these are the House of Lashes um, and Sephora collection collab and they're in Seductress and they are stunning. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial with these in them. Um, I do love them. They weren't actually that much either. I think they were $18 which isn't bad. Um, but I they have two other styles. Two other styles. And this is, I think this is the most dramatic one. 
But yes, um, these are definitely beautiful. Next I have the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. And this is in the shade 15. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have a name. But it is a dark purple lipstick. It has some uh, glitter in it as well. So it is definitely stunning. It actually smells like grape soda too. It's really pigmented. You might have to go over um, just one time. But it is a beautiful, a beautiful lipstick. Um, these dry down completely matte too, which is really nice. They were pretty cheap as well. Um, I think they were 15, but it is stunning. I do really love this. This is actually what I wore for prom. Um, my dress was actually the same shade as this. Next, I have the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Power Highlighter, and I got it in the shade Sin. Um, these are really nice highlighters. Ooh. Um, and the packaging is really beautiful too. Like, look at that. This is stunning, like, look at that. It's, it's a golden, like, what? Like, it's so reflective, you can't even really tell the color on my finger. These are fascinating. There was another shade there that I didn't like as much as I like Sin. Just because I am, I'm fairly tan, so um, I thought Sin would be a better color for me. But this is a stunning highlighter. I really do love it. Like, it's just fascinating. Like, look at the Next, I have the Professional Primer. Okay. Um, I have a mini, though. I didn't buy the full one just because I didn't really need the full one. Um, I do like it. I just find it interesting that when you take it out, though, it's like a tinted primer. It is really nice, though. It comes in this really nice matte bottle. Um, but yeah, I use this... Um, a lot of my t-zone especially just because i have an oily t-zone um this is really nice though it's a really nice primer i also have the nyx pigment it's in the shade nightingale and i do like this the only problem is that the sifter makes it really hard to actually get the pigment out so i had to like literally like slap bang it on my hand i was like boom 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 trying to get pigment out so i could put it on my eyes it was a little difficult not gonna lie but um, it's really nice if you spray your brush first and then you pack it onto the eyelid. It looks phenomenal if you do that. So highly recommend doing that as well. I have the Urban Decay uh, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is really good as well. Awesome for the eyes. I definitely love this little wand too. It's really cute. And it's like, you see how like straight the wand is? The wand's really like flat and low. So I do really like this as well. It's, it's a really good, um, eye primer to keep your eyeshadow in place. I have Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner, and let's just say this liner is also phenomenal. It's in the shade Trooper. I have a lot of Kat Von D products just because I do love her, and it's it's really pigmented. And it's very precise too. It's not like a felt tip that will dry in the front. Like It's really great. As you can see, Like this is me using the tip of the pen, and it has Ooh, shoot. It has really good precision, so I would definitely recommend using it. I also have the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Setting Powder, and it comes with this little velour puff. I got the mini, and I really like it. And obviously you use this to bake. Bake, set your face, make sure your makeup stays on long enough. It's really good product. Next I have my child, my favorite, 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 favorite palette, the Modern Renaissance. <gasps> Again, I have a little freaking paper in here. <laughs> but this is, a, ooh, this is a stunning palette. It has so many beautiful shades. It has um, 14 shades. Um, most of them are matte. There's a few shimmers in here. I think there's just two, which is Vermeer and um, Prima Vera, which is down here. It is a beautiful palette, though. It also comes with this brush, and I was dying to get my hands on this palette. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw that my Sephora had it in stock, I, I went over there, and I was like, I have to have this. You could create so many looks with this. I love the Love Letter and Venetian Red, and those are definitely two I use every time I open this palette. To be honest, I haven't done a neutral eye look with this palette just because I love diving into the reds and going really dramatic. And I love um, Primavera and Vermeer too. 
primavera is usually the one I'll do um, in the middle of my eyelid. And then Vermeer, uh, Vermeer I'll do under my brow bone, as well as tempera. And it is a really beautiful palette. Next I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which is actually the first palette I bought, high-end makeup brand palette. And it is my baby. Um, there's so many nice colors in here. I use Champagne Truffle a lot, either as a normal highlight or I use it under my brow bone, as well as the White Chocolate. White Chocolate's more of a brow bone shape. And besides it smelling like actual chocolate, it's a fantastic palette. The pigments in these palettes are incredible. It's time to get into the products that I didn't really enjoy, that didn't really work for me. And it's really unfortunate that they're in this pile. Uh, pile. So I actually do like this. This is kind of like an in-between a fave and a fail. Um, these have really nice colors in them. The only problem I have is that some of these aren't as pigmented as they could be. Like this purple shade is pigmented. This um, the screen shade is not pigmented. Like this is the green right here. And I don't know if they're supposed to be like that, more of a sheer type of product. I'm um, sorry, this is the Risqué Quad. Yeah, shadow and liner quad. So I guess some of these are meant to be used as liners, but I don't really know which ones they are. Maybe the green is supposed to be a liner and maybe the this gold here is supposed to be a liner, but the green and the gold aren't really the best, but the pink and the purple, like here's the pink and the purple here, they're phenomenal. They're really good. Next is the NYX Glitter Cream Palette, and this is actually a pretty old um, palette, and it's in the Royal Violets. Um, these don't really work though, like in all honesty. Like here's one of the glitters. Like what? nothing I don't even know how to make these work like I don't know if they change the formula with them or not but these just don't they don't work here's another one this one works kind of better but they're really hard to work with like I've really tried tried making these work like I've dug into these pants like, insane trying to make them work but some of them just really don't and like even then, it's really crumbly and hard to get off. I just don't really like them. Maybe they change the formula. Maybe I can try again and see if they have them. But to be honest, it was a, it was a no. Next I have is the Clinique Long Last Soft Matte Lipstick. Um, these are not completely matte. And the shade I bought was a really bad shade to buy. Because this does not go with my skin tone. Um, I got this. This is Soft Peony. Matte Peony, sorry. And I didn't really like how this wore on me, to be honest. Like, I'm sure it's a good lipstick line, but this was the first thing I've ever bought at Sephora. And it just didn't work well for me, and I, whoop, and I wasn't really a big fan. So, once again, these companies may have changed their, uh, their formulas, and they might be different now, but to be honest, that was not a good idea on my part to buy, just because I didn't like the color and it didn't really work. Next, I have the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Um, this is a pretty good primer. The only thing I didn't like about it is the fact that it was oily, and I have oily skin, so oily on oily just didn't work out. Um, however, it wasn't really that bad. The smell isn't that bad either. It's almost reminiscent of like a light mint, and it did blur out your pores. It's just I didn't really like the texture. Um, next, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand. Um, I did use this as an under eye concealer, however, I didn't feel like it really worked for me, and I started using it more as something I use under my eyebrows to touch up. Um, and I feel like it really works good like that, just in itself, but if you use it as an under eye concealer, to be honest, I feel like it was a little opaque for me, so you could still see like my skin underneath and blending it was okay. But definitely something I didn't, I wasn't really a fan of. Next are some, two of the shades in the Katie Cat, Katie Cat Matte um, collection with CoverGirl. Um, one thing overall about this collection that I didn't like was the smell of the lipsticks. They smell very chemically. It's kind of strong too. The next thing I kind of have a problem with is the um, darker shade. So here's the black. This is Harry Panther. 
it is a nice shade you just have to really um layer it in order to get a full pigment next i have the cosmo kitty and it's really nice again though you have to layer it in order to get the pigment which isn't really the best um the rest of them are really good they have a uh the collection has a lot of matte um shades that are really nice and really complimenting so if um that's something that you like i would definitely go for um it's just i feel like the darker shades do need a little bit of work um i know that purples especially are a harder shade to actually um produce next i have some of the elf duo eyeshadows um some of them are good but some of them do need work like this is a black shade this is a gray shade um i feel like elf is one of those that you either hit or miss with them and this is pretty good the only problem i had was that slightly not as pigmented as it could be um this is a black this, these are supposed to be like black and like a slight gray but um pigment isn't really good however i do use it sometimes like if I need something that's a light smoky, then I'll go for something like this. Just if I really want the full like intense, you know, like dark smoky eye and like, intense shades of black, then I'll definitely go for a wet and wild because they have some really good, um, for example, in this palette, sorry, I don't even know what name this is, but this black in the middle is extremely pigmented. Like, look at that. That is insane. If I want something more extreme, I'll go like for this, definitely. The e.l.f. blush and bronzer, I'm pretty sure they only have this shade. I haven't really seen any of the other shades and this doesn't even have a name, so I'm gonna assume this is the generic blush and bronzer. Um, I like the bronzer, it's the bronzer. The bronzer is something I use all the time. The problem is the blush. The blush has virtually no pigment. Let me use a clean finger, sorry. It's, it's right there in case you can tell. <laughs> Which I can't. Like, it's something that I really have to dig my brush in. Like, let me find a brush here, for example. This is the brush I usually use. I have an elastic around it, which is weird, but it helps like, keep it more like dense. I don't like brushes that are less dense, I guess. But I have to really like dig. And there's a ton of fallout, and you don't even get much like I'll go on this side and you can't even really tell that I'm wearing blush so yeah. oh my goodness I forgot another fave item orgasm by NARS <laughs> to be honest I don't even know if I showed this to you guys I feel like I did show it to you. am I okay this video is kind of all over the place but the next time I do it it'll probably be better but this is the NARS Orgasm Blush, and I love the packaging. It's another matte black. I love packaging like this. And here it is. It is stunning. Um, so NARS has this, which is the classic Orgasm Blush. They also have, I believe, Super Orgasm, so it's right there. And it has like gold almost like gold flecks in it. The thing I like about this one compared to Super Orgasm, which is another version of the blush, is that this one has fine, it has like fine loose glitter in it. The other one has more coarse glitter, so it's a little more chunky. Um, I do like this one because it is the original. It's really nice and I can definitely see why people were so hyped about it. It's such an awesome product. Basically, that is it. So that has been my product faves and my product fails. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It has been really intense. Um, yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, I would definitely love if you subscribe to my channel as well, as well as leave me some comments and some suggestions for future videos. But yeah, that has been my makeup faves and fails. I'm probably going to make this a series in the future once I accumulate more makeup. And maybe I'll have more fails, maybe I'll have less faves. Um, it can really go anywhere from here. So if you like this video, again, give it a like, give it a subscribe, but that is everything. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and my social media will be in the description box for you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm overjoyed that you came to my channel to watch this video today. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.